This is a brief example of a program I've been writing at the moment to learn the YouTube data API and how to get information from YouTube and display it on the screen. It's also a response to the fact that uh, the YouTube website really sucks on my laptop because my laptop is old and steam powered and in general anything using flash sucks and anything using HTML5 sucks. Um, but on the other hand, you can throw my laptop down as the stairs and it will survive. So, you know, it's a quid pro quo, a bit of an engineering trade-off. Um, also, I've decided uh, that I'm going to try and spend more time in the terminal in general. And a web browser most certainly isn't terminal. Of course, there is e-links. Um, but then if you actually use e-links to browse the web, then you're doing it wrong. Uh, now, in the grand tradition of uh, Unix names, the uh, program itself has got quite a, a terse name. It's YT for YouTube, and if you run it, here we go. Uh, by default, it goes for the most viewed, um, ordered by uh, relevance, uh, for whatever that means for most, most viewed from the YouTube API. And unfortunately, you can see that there's uh, at least two Justin Biebers here. Uh, the display is in general uh, split into a little sort of three lines for each video which gives you the duration, the view count, the number of comments, uh, the likes and dislikes and the number of favourites uh, and it's quite interesting to see that uh, Justin Bieber's video has got seven million comments and almost three quarters of a billion views. Makes me quite sad to think about that. However, the, the first thing we can notice is that we can press the O button and choose an ordering. Um, so in fact, if we order these by ratings, you see that thankfully Justin Bieber disappears. You can page through the um, results using the open and close square bracket keys. And each time you do this, it's going off and calling the YouTube API. So you can see that uh, when you're not actually in front of a computer with the um, web browser loaded, YouTube is actually quite fast. Um, also, you'll notice that we are quite Unicode aware. There's a little heart symbol here. Hmm. Obviously a teenager deciding to upload that video. In addition to the actual video title, uh, you can of course see the who uh, uploaded it um, and you can play them. So I'm not going to choose any of these most viewed because almost certainly they are f by people who will assert their copyright strongly. So instead I'm going to try and find videos made by people who won't assert their copyright strongly. The quickest of, the quickest of that would be um, my own videos because I'm not going to assert copyright against myself. So you type U for select your user, you can see at the bottom we have user appeared and there is my YouTube channel. Not very exciting. Um, it does include one rather amusing video that I downloaded off the Internet Archive and then transcoded into YouTube called Introducing Python. It's number five in the list there. Uh, if I want to actually play a video, um, for the first ten videos all I need to do is ch choose the number one to nine. So actually the first nine videos. Um, showing my program heritage there I immediately start thinking about zeros as being in the indices. Um, so if you want to play any of the first nine videos, you just press the button. So to play the Introducing Python video, I simply press the button five. And then magic happens behind the scene. And we're not going to watch it in a terminal, I'm afraid. We end up watching it in mPlayer. And now, of course, you can skip forward and backwards just as you could with all mPlayer um, beautiful keyboard shortcuts. Uh, there's a sort of Mr. Garrison and like there. But anyway, let's quit just in case, in case the people who did make the Python video back in the early 2000s care about it. Um, and look at some other orderings we can do. So we can also order by um, view count. And rather sadly, you can see that the most viewed video I have has a mere 14,000 views, which in this YouTube world is very small. So let's uh, instead search for something using the S button and now you can see that search has appeared down there. So let's search for some funny cats. For this is YouTube and that is what is uh, mostly uploaded. Um, now it's ordered by relevance. I've just noticed that relevance is spelt wrong. Mm. Well that's for 0 0.02 release isn't it? 
Um, let's in fact order it. You can see in the pop-up relevance is spelled correctly, so I'm not actually that much of an idiot. Let's instead order it by rating. So this is the highest rating funny cat video. It has nothing to do with cats. Lion cubs gives hugs. Number six. That would be quite fun. Or fat cat falling down. Ah, but that's number ten. How do we do number ten? Well, you hit V for choose index. Obviously, V being the clear choice as a button for choosing index. Uh, it just happens to be very close to the home keys for me, so it's quite convenient to hit. So V, choose the number 10, and then hopefully it will play. That is a fat cat in a Santa suit. Hit Q. Well there we are, that's a quick tr um, tour around the uh, basic functionality. Of course you can page forward and backwards so you can deep dive through hundreds of and hundreds of funny cat videos. Um, and you can see there that we're we're fully Unicode aware. Um, by fully Unicode aware, I mean that we're probably not fully Unicode aware because writing Unicode is hard. But I've at least thought about it, which is a lot more than most programs do. Finally, to quit the program, one simply hits the Q button. There we go. If you feel like you want to download this program, it's uh, licensed under the, the Apache 2 license and it can be found from my GitHub, which is here. Yet again, if you use e-links to browse the web, you're doing it wrong. Yes, I do really want to.